Right, today we're getting another treat with chocolate chips in it. Two days ago we made pancakes, today we're going to make chocolate chip muffins. Delicious and yummy. Kids will absolutely love that, it's like a treat after school. All right, I'm adding in two cups of flour. Make sure it's two cups, you want to make sure everything is done to the right way, folks. You want it to come out really good. You don't want to have a muffin that's too dry, it doesn't want to rise up. Here we go. Always use something to get the flour out, folks, because sometimes you can't get a whole cup in and you got to grab something and get it out. Okay, and we're adding in two cups of flour. Now I'm going to grab my sugar. I'm adding in one quarter cup of granulated white sugar. Rainy day today. What a rainy day. Oh. And we were saying also we were almost having a drought, but now we're having rain, so, you know. Now I'm going to grab my teaspoons. Now where did I put those teaspoons? I had it with me. Right. And three teaspoons of baking powder. One. Two. We're getting very low at the end of the baking powder, so we're just going to dash it all in here. Get anything else out? Here we go. A little bit more, make sure we have it all. Yeah, got, we've ran out of baking powder. We can have two more jars of it, so we're not out. We're not out of baking powder. We're gonna mix this together. Now, I wanna add in one egg. Yeah, this holiday season, folks, is a very sweet time of the year. We do add a lot, we do make a lot of sweets. I'm gonna add in a cup of milk. We might have to add in a little bit more milk. We don't know yet. We don't want it overly dry. I have a cup of milk I'm putting in there. I just, you know, if it's too dry, then we're going to add a little bit more milk, and we don't know how it's going to be done. Uh, I'm also adding in a couple of tablespoons of butter. Here we go. About three tablespoons of butter. Here we go. Here we go. I'm going to mix this together. Let me close my recipe book. I absolutely love this recipe book. My grandmother had one, now I have one. Now I'm going to mix this together. Now if it's too dry, then I'm going to head towards the milk and I'm going to put a little bit more milk in. I think it's going to be a little too dry. Yeah. yeah it's a little dry for my comfort zone, so I'm going to add a little bit more milk. And I would say almost a cup and a half of milk. You, you don't want it too dry. A little bit less than a half. Let's put a little bit more in and see how it's... Gets together here. This is better. A lot better, see? I would say a cup and a little bit less than a half a cup. In other words, a cup and less than a half. Now, the next thing, folks, I want to do is add in my little chocolate chips. We've got plenty of chocolate chips, folks, not to worry. Besides, I'm going to go to the store tomorrow. Kids are going to absolutely love these, especially when they come home from school. All right, now, I'm going to make sure we have enough butter in here. Please, folks, do not fill it. Don't make such small muffins. You want them to be big. about 15 minutes you'll have delicious muffins and your kids will love this when they get home from school it's a great holiday treat and here we have delicious chocolate chip muffins it's great served with a glass of ice cold milk and of course back in our days my grandma used to have something called buttermilk i don't think they make buttermilk anymore but i was able to get a glass bottle of it so from Denver's home country kitchen have a great day please subscribe to my wonderful youtube channel